Welcome fellow Potterheads back to my channel and another unboxing video. Today we have a very, very special box and I'm so, so excited to be unboxing this today because this is the Lit Joy Crate Magical Edition Year 5 Crate. Now these crates sold out on Lit Joy in like in 30 minutes. It was insane. These are limited edition crates that they do that are Harry Potter themed for specific books. So this is year five, so all of the items in this box are gonna be related to Order of the Phoenix, which is my favorite Harry Potter book, so I am so excited. This is the first time I've gotten this box. Like I said, they're super rare. They sell out like instantly, so I'm super, super glad to get it. It just came in today's post, and I, I'm super pumped. The box is super heavy, like it's, I, I can't even describe it. It's, it's pretty weighty. Now, it's just a plain brown box with the Lit Joy Crate logo on here with an owl and a broomstick. Um, and the post office marked it up with all these numbers, which is annoying. But So that, that part doesn't matter. But um, super plain brown box. I wish that these boxes were packaged in another box. That way we could keep the actual Lit Joy Crate box a little nicer. But either way, I'm super, super, super excited to open this. Um, I have been able to avoid spoilers. I don't know what's inside of it, but I'm super, super pumped to get into it. Um, I'm a little nervous because I can hear like tinkling inside of it. So I'm a little nervous that something is broken and that scares me. But either way, let's just get right down into it because I feel like there's going to be a lot of really awesome, cool stuff in this box. So here we go. Alohomora. Okay, so opening it up, first thing I see, there is an item right on top that's already like just straight up ready to go. So I can give you like a quick little sneak peek and you can see it's a quibbler. So I'm going to move this off to the side a little bit. Um, hopefully it won't be too spoiled. Well, let's start with the first item. So the first thing I have is a replica that looks like an edition of the quibbler, which is of course the... Um, I'm sorry, it's so late at night. <laughs> it's the magazine that Luna Lovegood and her dad, Zenophilius, put out. And this one says, um, the Quibbler, number, oh Jesus, 24,389, the Wizarding World's alternative voice. Um, clever muggles obtain magical artifacts. Mystery on high alert. Secret army forming at Hogwarts. Professor Umbridge fears students. Luna, get out of the... <laughs> Every time, every time I'm filming, Luna jumps up on here and wants to be in the video. Get down. I know this is your box because this is year five. You know what? Whatever. She's just going to be in the video. So <laughs> anyway, secret army forming at Hogwarts. Professor Umbridge fears students solidify. Oh, student soldier uprising. So basically this is like the edition of the Quibbler as it was in Goblet of Fire. Oh, oh, closing. I feel like this might be the spoiler card too. Okay, we're going to... We're going to move this off to the side and come back to it later. Luna is our guest. This is my cat, Luna. One of them. If you guys have watched other videos, you've seen her jump up on my videos. So I guess she's just going to be in this one, which is appropriate because she's named after Luna Lovegood. And this is the Lit Crate, uh, Lit Joy Crate Year 5 edition. So let's just move on. She's also trying to chew on my Christmas tree, which is right here. So let's just, let's just stop that, Luna. Next thing we have is, oh my god, this is adorable. Look at this. It's a little Weasley is our king foam finger. Like you would get at a sporting event. All right, Luna, stop. Stop chewing the stop chewing the Christmas tree. And we're done. Get down. Oh, and then she just she just knocked everything over. <laughs> this is a bad video. <laughs> anyway, this is our Weasley is our king. It's a little foam finger, and you can actually put your finger in it. Oh my god. So Weasley is our king is obviously the chant for when Weasley, Ron Weasley played Quidditch and he was the keeper and he was pretty poor at that. So the Slytherins made this little song about him that was kind of mean, but I love this. Weasley is our king. Oh my God. So cute. So cute. These items are super, super um, unique I've seen in the past. So what do we have here? Okay. I'm going to save that. We have two little boxes. And again, I think one of these, ooh, one of these is the item that was tinkling. 
It's not this one. So this is just a plain box. Let's get this off. Ooh, okay. So we have a dark blue. What do we got in here? Oh my God, oh my God, okay. So <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, so the little card says SPT to APWBD, Dark Lord and question mark Harry Potter. So fans of the book, we know this is um, Professor Trelawney talking to Dumbledore and it's the prophecy and look at this. Oh my, I hope the camera picks this up because this is gorgeous. It is a glass ball. And this is what's so heavy. I mean, this is solid. <laughs> And inside of the glass is the writing, and I, I don't know if it's, if it's picking it up, but it says, neither can live while the other survives. And this has to be one of the best Harry Potter <laughs> artifacts, collectibles, whatever you want to call it, that I have ever received. This is gorgeous. And the inside of the box has like blue um, silk. Oh my God, this is amazing. Well done, Lit Joy Crate. This this is amazing. <laughs> I can't even stop gushing about this. Oh my God. And there's still so much stuff in this box, but this is probably one of the most unique and interesting collectibles I've ever received um, from Harry Potter. I've never seen anything even remotely close to this. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep that on the table. That looks amazing. Oh my God. Okay. Um, let's do the other box. This box I think was the tinkling one. Let me, let me give it a shake. Yep. Okay. This one I'm a little... Oh, it sounds broken. Oh, no. It sounds super broken. Okay, well, let's just open it and see what we got. Okay, it's a mug. Oh, it is broken. Sad face. <laughs> I figured we had a mug when I heard the tinkling, but let's just open it up. So we have what looks like the Room of Requirements door, maybe? So it's a black mug. I'm going to put that down. It's super dusty, too wipe that up so it looks like the room of requirements and we got like mrs norris and a portrait here and the other side has the forbidden forest with the thestrals in it and the handle is broken so i wonder this looks almost like one of the mugs that when you put hot water in it it something will like magically appear i wonder if it'll be like a door i can kind of see it's never going to be picked up on the camera, but I can kind of see an outline of a door right here. And I feel like this is one of those mugs that changes when you put hot or cold liquid in it. I'm super sad that the handle is broken, um, but that's not anything that a little super glue won't fix. So we have this super cool mug. And again, I bet it's a, it's a changing mug because I'm pretty sure I can see the doorway in there. So fun mug. Put that back in its little box. I'm super sad it's broken, but... We shall persevere on. And there is still so much stuff in this box. So let's just reach around in here. And what do we have? A little jar, okay. And this says, ha oh my God. <laughs> it says, have a biscuit, Potter. And that is one of my absolute favorite quotes in the entire Harry Potter series. It's what McGonagall says to Harry when he's in her office after getting sent there by Umbridge for screaming at her about a little more returning. And it says tea biscuit. I wonder if this is a candle. Let's see here. Oh, it is. Oh, how cute. Okay. So it is a candle and it has the little wax emblem of like a tea biscuit in there. Let me smell it. Oh, yummy. Oh, it smells like butter and sugar cookies and vanilla and just like deliciousness. But have a Biscuit Potter is amazing. That's one of my favorite scenes, one of my favorite quotes in the entire series. I used to have a phone case that said that um, it broke and I was just super sad, but this is, this is amazing. And I love that it has the detail. So McGonagall is Scottish and it has like almost a Scottish sort of design on it. I think that's really nice. Good item. So many good items in here. I'm loving everything. Um, let's get this big thing out of the way. What is this? It's in plastic. Um, a blanket maybe? Here, let me see if I can get it out of the plastic. 
Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this entire thing up. So, get rid of that. Um, and I can't even think of what it is. Oh, it's Luna. It's got to be. I can see the dirigible plum earrings. Okay, so how am I going to get this in frame? Okay, let's just, let's just give it a go. So I have Luna here, and she's got her lion hat on. And there's there's no way I, I'll I'll do a, a big shot of it later because it's it's a super super soft blanket. It's got like her spectra specs on here. This is beautiful. This is super fun, super soft. I mean, like hella soft on here. I'll do I'll do a full shot of it here in a second, um, so you can kind of see what it is. But it is a blanket, um, or I guess you could use it as a like a banner if you want to put up here, like my background. Let's just close this lid here, or maybe, no, okay. Okay, <laughs> this is a struggle bus tonight between my cat and whatever. So this background you can see here is the Noble and Agent Hounds of Black. It's actually a scarf that I got in a loot crate um, a while back, but I like to use it as like a banner that I hang on my wall, so. And speaking of the Noble and Most Ancient House of Black, we have an item for that. And what is this? I think it's a bag. It is a bag. It's a little tote. It is green, very dark green, and it has the black family tree on it. Um, both sides, little, little tote, tote bag. It's got little pockets on the inside. Inside is just black felt. But this is lovely. I like this a lot. That's a and it's really good quality. The detail on the faces is very good. Um, let's see if we can find. So we got Regulus and Arcturus, which means that Sirius should be down towards there. There he is, Sirius over here. Mm, Narcissa Malfoy. Bellatrix, one of the best characters. Yeah, this is really nice. I have so many tote bags, so I don't know. <sighs> At first I didn't have any Harry Potter bags, and now I have so many of them. It's just like, it's just too many of them now. Um, I have a Hermione one that I got from Loot, um, Litjoy. You, sometimes they sell these items just a la carte that you can buy at their shop, and I got a Hermione one from year three and has her with the time turner and it is gorgeous it's hand painted it's beautiful um there's still so much stuff in here so i better like move this along <laughs> so i think we've come to the bottom of the box where there's like the little things so what is this okay we have a black pouch always exciting let's see what's inside Ooh, feels like metal what is this what is this Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. So this is a stand that you can put the prophecy on that came in the blue box. So that way you can take it out of the box and you can use it as a little stand and the little ball will go in there. And that's cool. That's really nice. It's made out of like a wrought iron sort of material. Very pretty. The craftsmanship on this is very, very nice. So that's a good item. I like that. Way to be thinking ahead that you're going to want to display that beautiful ball. All right, next we have a jewelry item in plastic. Let's get this bad boy out. Okay, this is an umbrage item. And it is um, like a chain that you would put on like a collared shirt. And these would be on the collar and then the chain goes across it. And we have one of them looks like umbrage as a cat. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then one is just like a little bow. And this is a Lit Joy Crate exclusive item. Um, this is really cool. I don't wear a lot of collared shirts, but, um, and then the back is just like a little pin, um, with the little backing on there, but that is really clever. I like that they made it not just like a cat, but Umbridge as a cat. That's really awesome. I like Umbridge. I, I, she's evil. She, she's an evil character. She's awful. But I mean, I, <laughs> I like her. I think she's, I think she's a really good character. <laughs> so... All right, moving on. Okay, so this is something that LitJoy does. A lot of crates have um, items that they they tend to repeat 
the same style of item. Like I subscribe to the Gobstone Alley box and they always put in teas and candles into all their boxes. So LitJoy has these bookmarks um, that they've done a series of, which I'm struggling to remove from the packaging, which is sad face because I think they're, okay, well, we can't get them out of the package. But this series is, we have Creature, Grop, and a Thestral. So they're like little magnetic bookmarks. And again, I can't seem to figure out how to oh, be smarter than the plastic, Alyssa. All right, there we go. They're like these little metal bookmarks, little magnetized. They're made out of paper. I'm sorry, not metal. They're little metal bookmark. Oh my God, I just said it again. Paper bookmarks with magnets in there that you can make, um, keep your place on. And then these are made by Nerdy Girl Designs. So I follow her... Um, on social media so on Instagram so you should you should follow her too because she makes really really cute items so we got little bookmarks like I said we have the Thestral we have Creature and Grop so super cute I'm also currently this is good timing because I'm currently in the process of listening to Order of the Phoenix on audiobook um and I'm loving it okay I'm feeling another cold little pouch this one is royal blue and it feels it's a circle it feels like a coin I know they did a coin series for year four, so let's see if it's year five. It's continued. Ooh, okay. So we have a galleon. And, ooh, oh, fun. Okay, so this says Dumbledore's Army on it. And this is the galleon that Hermione bewitches to let the members know when the new meetings are going to be. And it says Dumbledore's Army, and it has DA on it, and the other side says one galleon it has a oh, phoenix on it and it's gold this is really cool this box is sick the replicas in here are of such high quality so unique i've never seen the replica galleon before i've never seen the prophecy like they're they're killing it killing it and there's still so so many more things in here what do we got next um okay so this is another one of those things that they make in every crate. Um, let me see if I can get these out of the plastic. So they do these cards um, in the back. This is the design on the back. Looks like we have dragons. I gotta put this close to my face. I don't know, they look like dragons. And like a fairy and a pirate ship, I don't know. But they do these little cards and it's a deck. So you can see five of clubs, five of diamonds, Five of Knaves, Joker. Oh, I love it. The Joker is the Weasley twins. That's funny. So we have Umbridge, who's looking very pretty in this one. We have McGonagall. Love her. We have Luna. Love good. Love her. The Weasley twins. And Sirius Black. So this is very cool. So yeah, so they have this whole, whole, whole deck of cards. So obviously, since this is the first crate I've ever received, I don't have many of the other ones and by many I mean any of the other ones but still it's a nice thing to start collecting my table is just full of stuff here now all right keeping this going what do we have we have um a temporary tattoo oh and it says I'm well it's backwards because it's a tattoo but it says I must not tell lies with the little um stars that are from the American edition of the books this is made by seventh skin and so it's a temporary tattoo um this is the this is the words that are inscribed on Harry's hand when he's in detention with Dolores and um the quill she has him write with actually burns into his skin whatever he writes which is pretty cruel but um little directions but this is really this is nice I like that um if I do cosplay I might use this tattoo this is very nice though moving on we have oh my god I saw this a while ago and I've been waiting to take it out and take it out of the plastic so you can see it I've seen this before on Etsy and people make this kind of stuff but it is a teaspoon more importantly, it is Ron's emotional range. Because according to Hermione, Ron has the emotional range of a teaspoon. <laughs> oh, that's, that's clever. Ron's emotional range. I love that. That's funny. <laughs> and it's so accurate, too, because Ron is just, like, ridiculous. 
All right, I see, I think, two things left in here. Nope, nope, still more than that. What is this? I've been seeing this. I'm not sure. It's a red something. What is this? Okay, so it says Ministry of Magic. What are you? Oh, oh, fun. Okay, so it's upside down. Here we go. So it's a little notepad, little sticky notes, and it says, from the desk of the Ministry of Magic. This is fun, I love these. I'll use these at work. So it's just, it's just a little case that you can keep the notes in. I like that, that's nice. It's like, um, not a leather, almost like a cork, kind of um, material. I'm not sure how to describe that, but it's, it's smooth, it's soft, it's really pretty. I like that, I like that a lot. Simple, but still, you know, interesting and clever. Um, okay, what else do we have next? So next we have, ooh, ooh, okay. It's a, um, it's cardstock and it says ordinary wizarding level results. And this one is for Ron, which makes me sad because I don't really like Ron, but um, I wonder if they have different characters or if it was all Ron. But it says Ronald Billius Weasley has has achieved and has all his classes and all his remarks or all his marks that he got, um, pass grades, fail grades, and this is an actual wax seal with the Hogwarts crest on it. I don't know if that's getting picked up. There you go by the lights. Um, it's glossy. It's got embossed writing on it. Griselda Marchbanks, which is the examiner um, head examiner. And then, oh, it has his comments on here. That's funny. Let me see if I can read some funny ones. Um, oh, okay. So during the astronomy exam, obviously that's when Umbridge tried to arrest Hagrid. Um, and there was a big commotion. So it says, exam administrator's comments, astronomy. Due to the large disturbance on the grounds during the exam, I have decided to overlook the Uranus jokes at this time. That's funny. Um, his divination one. Offensive and incapable. Cannot tell the difference between a crystal ball and a mirror because he was describing his examiner, an ugly person. He thought he was telling the future. Um, there's a lot of them. I'm not going to read them all, but some they're funny. They're just like, you know, little things that happened during the book series and what happened in the exam. And they're just kind of uh, relating to that. So some funny inside joke ones for like really, really hardcore fans. <laughs> Um, okay, what is this? This is a picture of, okay, that's not a thing. So I think this is the last item. Yep, this is the last item in the box. And this is what I thought was gonna be the owl results, just based on the way that it's packaged, but why can't I get it out of the package? Ah, okay, there we go. All right, so it is a scroll. And which side is there going to be stuff? Okay, so I don't see anything written. Oh, okay. So it says proclamation, educational decree number five, but it's totally blank. And then on the bottom, it has the Ministry for Magic stamp on here, but it's totally blank. Maybe you're supposed to write your own. Or something. It's rather long. I can't really get it in the frame. I don't know. I don't get that one. Hmm. Yeah, there's, it's totally blank. <laughs> I don't know what's supposed to be on there, but there's nothing on there. So, okay. Cool. <laughs> um, and then the last thing in here is just, I wonder if it's, I think it's the spoiler card. Um, so these are some of the people that work at LitJoy. Um, and it just says, Happy Holidays. Thank you for buying the crate. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, it's just like a thank you card for buying um, the crate. And this is the people that work there in their little Weasley sweater. That's super nice. I'm going to find the Quibbler because I think this might be the spoiler card. Um, yeah, exclusive product previews inside. So let's see here. Okay. So, yeah. So we had... Okay, so it is a heat changing mug. So once you put hot water into it, I believe it shows the door to the room of requirements. We have the black family tree tote bag. Um, we have the Dumbledore's army coin. 
We have Ron's Emotional Range Teaspoon. Um, have a Biscuit Potter Candle, which the flavor doesn't say what it is. It is very, like, buttery smelling, like a biscuit. Okay, so the Luna Love Good Blanket. Let me see if I can get a little close so you guys can see. That's what it looks like. Um, so it's her with her Patronus and her hat and her Spectre Specs. Fun, fun, fun. Um, Ministry of Magic Sticky Notes. The um, Magical Bookmarks. Magnetic Bookmarks. The Prophecy with Stand and Tag, which was beautiful. And it was a Loot Joint exclusive. Um, Must Not Tell Lies Tattoo. Ron's Owl Card. Okay, so everyone got Ron's. Um, so they also tell you the retail value of the crate. If it's handmade, they tell you who it's made by, um, which I think is nice. The Lit Joy trading cards, um, the Umbridge cat and plate collar enamel pin, and oh, oh, I get it. Okay, so it's a pin banner. Oh, I love that because I have so many pins, and I was thinking I was going to get a cork board to display them on but now I can display them on that and that's even better I love that Weezy is our king foam finger and that is it so and then they have like a photo challenge you can do on Instagram and tag them in there this is amazing this box is unreal I mean it's probably the you know I'm gonna say it's not even probably it is the best box that I have ever gotten best Harry Potter subscription box I've ever gotten better <laughs> I can't even I can't even describe it it was so good and then so year six um so like I said they do you know they're doing every year year six is sales opening April 2019 so the year five book sold out in 30 minutes so I can't even imagine after people see what was inside this box the amount of items the value of the items the exclusivity the design the uniqueness of these items was super super good well done lit joy crate this was really 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 well done i am on the vip list for the these crates um so if you're still able to join i definitely recommend it because you get early access to these crates as well i think 24 hours early access to the crates which is really really good because like i said these these crates sell out so fast because i mean these items are just so clever so unique beautiful handmade um I just I, I can't stop raving about what was in this box the value of this box I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it I will put the link down below to lit joy crate um with the pricing information if I can find it if I can remember it but the value of these boxes is just unreal I think my favorite thing in the box is super hard to pick but I've I want to say it's probably the prophecy because that's just unbelievable quality i've never seen anything like that and i think the coin also dumbledore's army coin was very very good the tote bag was great quality the you know what i can't even pick a favorite i can't even pick a favorite it was unbelievable the amount of things in this box and the quality and everything i'm just raving at this point it's super late i'm trying to film this um I can't even, I, I gotta stop. I can't even keep talking about all the ridiculously good items in this crate. So comment down below. Let me know what you think of this box. If you guys are, if you guys got one, if you haven't and you're super sad you missed out, some of these items will be available in their shop to purchase a la carte. So if you couldn't purchase the crate, you might be able to get some of the items if they had extras or overflow. Not everything, obviously, but hopefully some of the good stuff you'll be able to get for yourself. Um, but comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Christmas. Christmas is in a few days. So I hope you guys all have a happy and healthy Christmas. And as always, don't let the muggles get you down.